marched along Prince's Street, that splendid thoroughfare which Edinburgh asserts is the noblest in Great Britain, no one was left in doubt that he was in the capital of Scotland. Meanwhile, members of the London Symphony Orchestra arrived at the airport. From many parts came the influx of great artists, all aware that by the critical audiences at the festival, only first-class performances would win acclaim. The floral clock was a beautiful but urgent reminder that the concert halls would soon be filling. Time was short for those who still had to get tickets. That the arts belong to mankind, to scorn frontiers and disdain political creeds, no one knows better than the artistic director of the festival, the Earl of Harwood. With him here is Shostakovich, the great Russian composer he invited to be guest of honor, a choice universally applauded. Galina Vishnevskaya, Russia's foremost soprano, and Rostropovich, her husband, personify the marriage of true minds. He warmly greeted players of the London Symphony Orchestra to his ensemble of eight cellos. Rehearsing at a bussy recital, Yvonne Lefebvre, Tenor in the same recital, Peter Pears. In the Usher Hall, Vishnevskaya rehearsed Bachianus Bisseliaris with the cello ensemble. <laughs> Symphony orchestras have a full program, but turn now to the stage. Drama, represented at the Assembly Hall by Dylan Thomas's The Doctor and the Devils. Yes, Knox, we all find Dr. Knox's uh, language and uh, attitude most congenial and stimulating. Like brandy on persons of weak health, physical or mental. I should very much like to see Paris, Mr. Ray. Oh, my dear Elizabeth, this is a geographical conversazione. I merely wanted to know... In order not to embarrass you further, or prevent you from savouring, let alone swallowing, that brandy that you're kind enough to call excellent, may I explain to you that what my sister really wishes to know is whether you agree with her that the medical profession, with some notable exceptions, consider me a seducer of youth and an atheist. There is no need to answer, of course. Sounding a lighter note, those famous folk singers, the McEwan brothers, up on Calton Hill. It looks down on Holyrood House. The Royal Scottish Academy, during the festival, houses the Sonja Heaney and Niels Onstad Million Pound Collection, which they gave to the Norwegian people. The former film star, skating champion, and her husband warmly approved the manner of presentation at the Academy, an untitled picture by Jean-Paul Riopelle, who lives in Paris. <music> Tropic of Capricorn, painted last year by Wilfredo Lamb. Murrayfield, home of rugby internationals, turned to athletics. Open-air entertainment for truants from the concert hall, or people waiting for the next performance. A bit more porridge and he'd throw it into Glasgow. On most nights during the festival, on the esplanade of the castle, the Edinburgh Tattoo provides a feast of spectacle.
the Sikh band. It's the first year India have been represented at the tattoo. Now for the spectators to join in, the young ones at any rate. On the capital of Scotland at this time, turn the admiring eyes of all the United Kingdom.